Hello everyone, this is MarioMan641 here, and welcome to the second top 5 of the channel. Now today in top 5, we are going to be talking about the top 5 Kingdom Hearts Disney Worlds that I would love to give a shot whenever I do get the chance to even play the games. Now, for the record, I have not had any access to the main free Kingdom Hearts game, especially the recent one. I haven't played Kingdom Hearts 1 or 2, but I have seen a lot of gameplay and reviews. And uh, as for free, there's still a lot I need to catch up on. But overall, I did decide to at least look deep into all of the worlds in the game, and I'm going to narrow it down to basically only the top 5 Disney worlds. So, stuff like Traverse Town, Twilight Town, or worlds that are probably Final Fantasy-like is not going to be counted. Only Disney as type of worlds. And it's coming from the main free games. Now, I don't know if there's exact, if there's specific worlds in the side stories and prequel games or somewhat, like all of the handheld titles and everything. I'm mostly going for, at least for what was in the main free. So, and also, this is my opinion only, and this is all about, about worlds that I like to explore in, and have fun with, probably uh, 100% if I like to. But overall, let's just get right into the countdown, and let's get right into this. Number 5, Hercules, Kingdom Heart 1, 2, and 3. This Disney hero is super strong, and the world that's portrayed is Age of Mythology. I've seen this movie as a kid and loved it, but as an adult, my love for this movie just isn't there anymore. Where this whole franchise took place as canon, which I can't point too many fingers, would be between after Hercules recently became famous and before he officially defeated Hades. The Sky World in Kingdom Hearts 3 is really where it shines. <laughs> Thank you, you're so kind. Keep training and one day you'll be great <laughs> heroes Ooh. just like Hercules. <laughs> Number 4, Frozen, Kingdom Hearts 3. This movie is what brought Pixar back to life after their relationship with Disney. I believe the power that patched this relationship is that one song. Oh my god, make it stop! <sighs> Anywho. I love snow environments, even today, and the magic is still there. Where this franchise took place would be after Elsa gets caught using ice magic all the way up to the ending, which I won't spoil too much. Overall, I like snow environments, and this may end right up my alley. I shouldn't have upset her the way I did. Elsa ran away because she was frightened. I have to bring her home. I'm sure she knows how much you love her. Number 3, Tarzan, Kingdom Hearts 1. The first time I saw Kingdom Hearts was a vacation at my summer house with my cousin Bryce. His friends was playing Kingdom Hearts and currently playing through, you guessed it, the Tarzan world. Tarzan was the first Disney movie I ever felt like I'm in an adventure. And as an adult, I do start to realize the dark nature of it. The story in canon takes place after Tarzan meets the humans and before they pack to leave to London. The fun thing I like to do when I get there is tree sliding with Tarzan. <laughs> Number 2, Pirates of the Caribbean. Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3. Yo ho, yo ho, the pirate's life for me! This live action pirate adventure has a lot of pirate humor. My dad introduced me to this series, and as a kid, I didn't really care. It's more of an adult thing, which is why I just decided to get into it. I can't put a finger where it took place, but if I'm gonna pitch it, and because it's in game. I'm going to say one is between two films and one is during one other film. The most important part why I like to explore this world is searching for treasure and sailing across the seas. I play a lot of Zelda Wind Waker and I have a pirate map on my wall in my room. What are you three muttering on about? Basically, 
We need to win this race. Precisely. No purchase, no pay. You might have the makings of a pirate after all. <laughs> Before we get to our number one pick, here's a few honorable mentions. Oh, well, where did you come from? Simba, you're alive. This kingdom doesn't belong to you. Simba's the rightful king. The choice is yours. Riku! What's the matter with you? What are you thinking? Don't you realize what you're doing? I was about to ask- Number 1. Toy Story. Kingdom Hearts 3. This Disney franchise is my childhood. The first time I heard about it was the first commercial on The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh on VHS. Toy Story 2 by far is my favorite of the trilogy. This series was requested hard, and it's finally here. It takes place 10 years after Toy Story 2, but before the toys get discouraged about Andy being college bound. And more Toy Story lore's in here. The gang was transported in an alternate dimension where toys are real beings. Buzz's laser actually fires, so maybe they can bleed instead of lose stuffing. I just wish Sora could also grow human size and talk to Andy for more interesting lore, but maybe Toy Story 4 coming out this year may give it a proper sign-off. Woody, now! Giddy up, partner! We gotta get this wagon train a moving. But anyways, guys, that is it for today's top five. Uh, happy February. Of course, I had to uh, make some sort of connection on a February, considering it's, Val it's Valentine's Day, and the symbol for Valentine's Day, of course, is a heart. And what represents it is Kingdom Hearts. I'm guessing that's some way to put a reason to put out this video, and also Kingdom Hearts is very recent. And uh, I'd like to say, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and as always, have yourself a fantastic night, and I'll see you guys next month for another Top 5. See you guys next time. Ciao!